Once the system is initialized, we would need to set up our acquisition parameters. This is all done on the right hand side in the parameter box. We would select the More button, and this will give us the option of selecting the gain that we have set at Auto here. The Aperture, again, we have set at Auto. And then Lab Solution IR has a monitor mode that allows real time monitoring of the bench or of the sample compartment. Um, and in this case, we have it set up for a gain of one, and the mode is transmittance. Other parameters are set up by selecting the data tab. Here we would select up our measurement mode. This is what we're going to measure. The options are interferogram, power, percent transmittance, and absorbance. This is actually what is shown on the screen as we acquire data. Uh, we'll leave it at absorbance. We can select apodization. Options are none, triangle, square triangle, bessel, cosine, hapgenzel, and boxcar. We'll leave it at hapgenzel. We would set up the number of scans for the acquisition. Currently it is set at 8. And we would set up the resolution. And we have options of 0.25 to 16. 0.25 is valid for the IR tracer. For the IR affinity, 0.5 to 16. Uh, for this test, we are going to use 4 uh, reciprocal centimeters as our resolution. And finally, we can set up the range. Our minimum from 350 to maximum 4000. If we were using a zinc selenide ATR, we would probably want to take the minimum to about 600 to 650 because zinc selenide absorbs IR radiation uh, below about 550 wave numbers. Once the parameters are set up, if we uh, so desire, we can save those and we would do that by selecting the Save Parameter tab at the top. We would give these parameters a name such as Test 5 and they would be saved. Those could be recalled at any time uh, if we wanted to use the same parameters. To recall those, we simply go to the Load Parameter button. We find the Test 5 or the parameter settings that we want and we simply open them and those are called back in for use uh, at that time.